Hello everyone. These are United States of America waterfalls you can swim in. It is my intention to share these beautiful photographs with you, tell you a little bit about each one. If I stumble over my words or I can't pronounce a certain name of a fall correctly, please overlook that and I'm asking for your forgiveness in advance. First up is the McWay Falls. These are in the Julia Pfeiffer's Burns, Burns State Park in Big Sur, California. It is 80 feet high and it flows into the Pacific Ocean. And there's only two of them on this list and they're considered tide falls because they flow into the ocean. Um, this one and one, the third one will be the other one. Um, beautiful, beautiful picture there. Palouse Falls, Southwest Washington State. It's another beautiful picture. Um, it's near Wash Tuckna. I believe you can do cliff diving there and it flows into the Snake River. All right, this is the Alamir Falls. It's Point Reyes National Shoreline in Marion County, California. And it is 40 feet tall. And this is the other tide fall that actually flows into the Pacific Ocean. Next up is the Little River Falls in Galeville, Alabama. It's 45 feet tall. It flows 100, excuse me, it flows 11,000 cubic feet per second. It's a pretty fast moving one. And it is um, at the top of Lookout Mountain. Little River Canyon National Preserve in Galesville, Alabama. Next up, Havasu Falls. It flows into the Havasu Creek, which is near the Grand Canyon in Arizona. It sits on Havasu Indian Reservation, you must actually get a permit from the tribe uh, to be able to go to it. It is a long hike, so you should plan on spending the night. Next up is the Paley, Paley Falls. Uh, looks like PP Falls, but I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it. It's on the big island in Hawaii. It is also known as the Boiling Pots, and it is horseshoe-shaped with cliff with three waterfalls. Next up is Cummings Fall, Falls, and it's in Cummings Falls State Park in Jackson County, Tennessee. It is... Uh, 75 feet tall. It has a 50 foot plunge and it is a one and a half mile hike and it's in the Blackburn Fork State, State Scenic River. Next up is Diana's Baths in New Hampshire. It's in the White Mountain National Forest. It's an easy 0 0.6 mile hike. And it is 75 feet tall. Next up is Bridal Veil Falls in Utah. Cascade Mountain streams down 607 foot into a remarkable double cascade. That is a beautiful, beautiful waterfall. Next up, Mooney Falls. It's near the Grand Canyon in Arizona. It's also managed by the Havasu Indian Tribe. Uh, so same applies to that. You have to get a permit to go on their land. 
but it's absolutely gorgeous. Next up, Falling Waterfalls in Arkansas. This one you can actually view from your car. It's near Richland Creek Wilderness area, and it's 10 foot tall. Looks higher than 10 foot in that picture, but that's what they say, 10 feet tall. Okay, next up. Um, this one is Brandywine Falls in Ohio. And it is Psychoga Valley National Park in Ohio. It's 65 feet tall. And it is a 1.5 mile brand wine gorge trail. So you have to do a little hiking to get to that one. Next up is the Hooker Falls in North Carolina. This one is in DuPont State Recreational Forest in North Carolina. It's 12 feet high. You can actually kayak over the falls. You can take your dog in for a swim and you can bring an inflatable raft. So for dog lovers, that would be great. And the last one on the list is the Jump Creek Falls near Marsing, Idaho. Um, it's about an hour west of Boise, Boise, Idaho, near the Oregon border. You can actually practice cliff diving there, and it is 60 feet tall. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of this beautiful country that we all share, and I'll bring you as much nature type things like this as I come across. I hope that you enjoyed it, and you'll see some more in the future. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.